Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the temptation of Jesus which is related to personality. So y'all be that. So y'all guys, can y'all please subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications because it really helped me to make more videos about this. Even if you don't, it's okay. I'll still make more. So yeah. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Anyways. If you all begin, so if you guys have a Bible nearby, can you please, like, and if I just take the, grab the Bible and just put it on the floor, turn to Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, and we're going to be reading from verse 1 to 11, so this is really, like, a long scripture to read, but I hope it ain't boring that much, so, yes, we did not. So, on temptation of Jesus. That's chapter 4, and I hope all of you on your Bibles are just listening, it really doesn't matter. Then the Spirit, the temptation of Jesus. Then the Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After spending forty days and nights without food, Jesus was hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, order these stones to turn into bread. But Jesus answered, The scripture does say, the scripture, the scripture says, Human beings cannot live on bread alone, but need every word that God speaks. So this is trying to mean that you cannot only you can't live on only one thing. You need every you see when God says something you will see. You need, but need every but you need every word that God speaks. So let's see. So for example, God said, "Let there be light." You're living because it is light. God spoke about that, right? Uh, God said, "Let there be water." You're deep, you also you also living with because you're the, the right now you're living because of water because God spoke that said, "Let there be water and sea and everything that's around the world." You know, sea and water, and God said that He spoke that He commanded that in Genesis. He said that right. And and then you also see you living on that because you you're living on that because God spoke that so this is actually kind of an example of the genesis of what happened, and also here it also said the thing here, yeah? and you cannot only live on some one thing alone. You can't live. Let's say that you have um, think about it. You have water. They give you you have water and you live on that alone. You can't live on that alone. Believe me, you can't. You need something to bite and munch and get dangerous. Like you can't just keep on drinking water almost your whole entire year. But it's okay if you want to, if you're fasting, it's okay that you have to drink like only water for like a month. But a whole entire year, that's impossible. I'm telling you, that's really impossible. So, so you can't rely on water alone, okay? You can't rely on water alone. And the, only if you're fasting, then you have to rely on water alone. But if you're not fasting, you cannot rely on one thing. And let's say they give you a, um, they, let me think of something. Let's say they give you a black kit, and that's the only thing. You don't have food, you don't have anything else, you don't live in, and you just live on the streets. They give you a blanket. You can't rely on the blanket alone, too, because it helps you with get warm, but do you have something to finish? You can, that's, that, that, it doesn't make you healthier, doesn't make you stronger, doesn't make you anything. It just makes you warmer and comfortable, that's all. It doesn't help much. It doesn't have badge because you can get destroyed and ruined. And you cannot only, you cannot live on that thing alone. So that means you need every single thing that God speaks. This is, if God speaks some, if, this, if God says something, that, and then you have to rely on what God speaks. Because everything that God speaks is real, can, can actually, you need it. You need it. You really need it. Because whatever God speaks, you need it. So I hope y'all remember that. Okay. That's what the verse meant. Okay. And carry on reading. We just love them. Then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem, the holy city, set him on the sent set him on the highest point of the temple, and said to him, "If you are God's son, draw yourself down, for the scripture says, God will give give orders to his angels about you. They will hold you up with their hands, so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stone on the stones." Jesus answered. But the scripture also says, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Now that also that is also important too. You mustn't put the God to or your own God to the test because if you do that, it's really not nice because you're forcing God to like you to do that. Thing. So you do not you should, so you shouldn't put God to the test because it's actually wrong to do that. It's very wrong to do that to put God on the test because that's that's just uh uh no no bad bad no no that is very wrong. So yeah, it's very wrong to do to to put God on to put God on the test because it's wrong and you can't put him on. 
It's only if something is serious, so because you can't just put God on the just for no damn reason. Because if you don't believe in Him, it doesn't mean that you have to force Him. So you have to do. It doesn't mean that you have to force yourself to believe in Him. Okay, well you do have to force yourself to believe in Him. What I'm saying. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say here is that you shouldn't force yourself to 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 you shouldn't test God. To you shouldn't test God. Just to see if God is if God is really real. Mm-hmm. Sounds nice. You should test God so you can actually to see if God is real. Because let's say you fall off a cliff, or say like you're looking down the road, and now you want to see. Now you still do. You have this meaning. So if you see if people are saying that God will save you, that that and God is real, everything like that, but you want to prove it. So you're going to stand on the road and sit down there and wait for a car to smash you, and then you want to end up in a hospital and be sharp, sharp, and look like my flesh. No, don't do that. That is actually forcing yourself. And you know 10,000%, you know 100% that it's wrong to do that. And you know 10,000% that you will get hurt and you'll get injured badly. But you're acting as if, oh, no, I'm not going to get any injured badly. I'm just going to sit here and wait for God. Maybe the truck is going to wait for me and everything. No, don't test God to do that. Some people in this world don't even care. So they're just going to drop you over like that. And you might end up in hospital, which is bad. Man, no, you just don't want to test God to do something. Up. So you want to just test, you want to test God? Don't do that. Testing God is actually kind of like a bit of a sin, I think. So don't do that. So don't test God. Anyways, um, next in our so let's the next this verse is no, this is actually kind of my favorite one to explain because so many people are doing this and which is super wrong. Okay. Then the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in all their greatness. All this I will give you, the Jesus, the devil said, if you kneel down and worship me. Mm. Oh, this is really similar to some people that are singers and popular fans, you know, like those, you know, those dojas, you know, cats, doja cats, you know, Lil Wayne, those Lil Nas X, you know, those people. <laughs> this is really similar to them. Then Jesus answered, Go away, said Satan. The scripture says, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only him. Then the devil just left Jesus and angels came and helped him. That is the end. But I would have to also explain the verse 8 and 9. I would have to explain that. Many people. Oh, wow. When I say many people, I mean a lot of people. It's like the whole world is uh, divided in those good sides and bad people that worship God, and the people that worship God, and people that worship the devil. And, and that's some I realize they're just chilling and mind their business. And uh, Christianity and the devil just fighting together. That is just too much. But then religion just chilling and chilling and, you know, minding their business because they have no worries. But as Christians, unless you, you know, we don't care about those. We're going to keep on worshiping with the God. We're going to worship our only God, our God, our Lord. Our only, our own, he's literally our one, and he's our only that person. We only worship him only. We'll only worship that person. What am I saying, person? You heard. We worship him only. So, for example, like Doja Cat, she like she turned into those, and she's doing so much bad stuff. You know, she's literally showing it off, like he's showing up, and she literally released a, a song called "Demons," and I was like, "This girl, if she came to South Africa, should have returned back to America, a uh, new a born again child." Because yeah, in South Africa, we're really strict, and believe us, we will literally, literally. Slap the heck out of you until you be a Christian because nobody wants a person is crazy here all over like crazy and everything like that. No, no one wants that. No one wants that. So if she came here in South Africa, she would be going back to America, born again question, and be like, "Whoa, we have to go to South Africa." And me and many other people we get going to South Africa. So, and that's practically all I can say now. So if y'all enjoyed, please like and. I hope y'all also highlighted every single scripture, so because oh, why not? And then the and then the word of the day and the word of the video is God keeps His promises. Okay, God keeps His promises. So please, and if you enjoy, please you're gonna comment below. Please write Amen, and then also write the same thing as him. And then on the next video, when I do something about Christian Christianity and stuff, please also write God keeps His. Please also do write God keeps his promises so you can remind yourself. So I want to see if y'all remember. I want to see if you remember. So, yes. Anyways, bye y'all and don't forget to pray.
when, when you go to sleep. Don't forget. I'm watching you. Bye, y'all. And don't forget to subscribe, too.